Welcome back to the channel guys. Before I even tell you about the adventure we're going to go on today with my friend over here, George. As you guys have been seeing all over the news, there are some fires in the Sequoia National Park. And look at how blue the sky is back behind us. But as soon as we are entering the Big Pine, Lone Pine area, there's a huge cloud of smoke. We're practically driving into a cloud of smoke. Let's see what the truck conditions are. We're on our way to the Eastern Sierra Visitor Center to get the permit. Finally right here, made it uh, to Lone Pine, California. We are going to be backpacking over to George Lake. I believe the round trip is going to be about 14 miles. We're going to spend the night. We are right here at this uh, fishing shop in Lone Pine. We just got our license to fish for two days. We are about an hour and 30 minutes away from the trailhead. This trailhead starts at the popular Lake Sabrina, which is uh, in the Big Pine area. Let's get this adventure started. We're about two miles away from the parking lot to the trailhead. As you guys can see, it's very smoky. This is due to all the fires going around right now near the Sequoia area. Yeah, not sure how great the air quality is, but honestly, there's a lot of smoke. As soon as you're coming in to the Sabrina Lake, you are going to see a sign on your right side that says uh, Sabrina Basin Parking, huh? Yeah, Sabrina Basin hike, Hiker Parking. That's the overnight parking. If you are just doing a day hike, you are going to follow this road all the way up there and you will find plenty of day use parking. We're just gonna check out the map to make sure we're at the right one. So we found the Sabrina Basin Trailhead. There's going to be a, like a split. We're going to keep left to end up at George Lake. We're going to hit some, some steep inclines. So it should be pretty fun. The time is now 1219. Safety, we are in bear country. Bear canisters are required. And honestly, it's starting to feel like the fall, huh? Yeah. Already? <laughs> One of my favorite things about camping in the, you know, near the fall time or in the fall time, is this beautiful. Oh, you did. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, things got a little hot, and we took off the the windbreakers. We are passing by Lake Sabrina. There's people already fishing there. It looks really nice, actually. This is what backpacking is all about. Beautiful trail, beautiful weather. Just being outdoors, you know, enjoying God's creation, living your best life. Shout out to my friend George right here uh, for coming out and joining me on this backpacking adventure. We have hit the intersection point. The sign is gone. You're going to just stay left. And we are going to be hitting a couple of more switchbacks. Uphill, here we go. These switchbacks are never ending. Whew. I think we are supposed to just go over like 10,800 feet of elevation. Then we're going to go down the mountain to George Lake. I'm never going to sugarcoat anything. Honestly, I'm dying. <sighs> we just keep on climbing. There's like no, no rest, no, no mercy on this trail. If you had to rate this trail, bro, easy, moderate, or difficult? Uh, it's mother. Moderate. <sighs> so far. So far, yeah. I, I just think that the start is pretty chill, but just these switchbacks, because we have to climb the mountain. Just horrible. No 
No acting tough here, man. It's kicking my butt. I had to sit down for a little break. <laughs> Charge with some water. Can't wait to get there, guys. Oh, rest in peace, little, little one. George is checking out the trail in the front. This thing just keeps on going up. Switchback after switchback. Beautiful. Wow. Can't wait to get there. Go oh, and eat. I highly recommend you get a GPS device or a map or something because there's a segment of the trail where you hit up a meadow and the trail is lost, but thanks to the device, this we were able to get back on trail. Home stretch to George Lake finally. So exhausted, guys. I'm gonna just sit here a little bit, catch our breaths, and have a little snack. Just over this little stretch, we should be going down already, down into George Lake. If it wasn't for George, I probably would have turned back. And right here is George Lake, beautiful. The good part's that we're the only ones here. We can just uh, camp anywhere. One of the best parts is just taking off your backpack. Oh my goodness, it's the best thing in the world. What we're doing right now is just uh, warming up some water, finally to get her meal today I'm going to try out this one it's called peak refuel honestly you can never go wrong with any brand as long as it's chili beans so I'm really excited for this one it's getting cold the meal is done and it actually looks really good let's, let's give it a test mm, not bad This is perfect. Carbs. Oh, it got a little cold, so I had to throw in a long sleeve under. I was not expecting it to be this cold, but it's okay. George almost caught a trout. <laughs> oh! Oh! There it is. Our, Our first, first one. catch! Woo! <laughs> 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 oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, George's got a second one! Woo! Oh, dude, that's a nice size, bro. You know? Oh, hell. oh my! That's bigger than the other one. Yeah, this is big. By the way, the other one we let it free because it was smaller. Damn, look at that. Look at that. Shh, look at that trough. Damn, we eating good tonight. I think the fish you should get it clean over there by the water, no? Yeah. So this is how we are going to end tonight. We had some trout. It was actually really good. Uh, it was sweet and crunchy, huh? It was bomb. Shout it's out to really George. good. <laughs> Shout out to George for catching it. It is now 8:25, but we're freaking tired. Uh, we're probably gonna go crash already. That way we can wake up early tomorrow. Just relax. Uh, try to catch some more trout. I'll show you guys some more of this uh, campsite. So we will check in with you guys again in the morning. Good night. <laughs>
this trail is really not that traveled but if you're coming to do it on a day just as a day hike it's nice make sure you start early There's been some fires around the Sequoia area. Thanks to the wind, the smoke cleared out and the skies are nice and blue. Couldn't have asked for a better way to end this trip. We are at the end of this trail, at the end of this backpacking trip. Thank you guys so much for joining us. It was amazing, it was tough, but it was worth it. Like always, please do not forget to hit the thumbs up button, drop some comments, and subscribe to support the channel. Catch you guys on the next one.